Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how I made this. Let's jump right in. So I started with a sheet of cardboard and I measured out the length I wanted my final sculpture to be. For me, I want the body to be a length of 29 inches. I then drew a box that was the height and length of my lure. I used an actual lure for reference and drew out the shape of the body from a side view. I next took a utility knife and cut out the shape. I then pretty much repeated that whole process except this time I drew out the shape of the lure from an aerial view. So it wasn't the height, it was the width. I actually then cut that piece in half as shown. Also I cut out a ton of these right angled triangles that would be used in just a second. I took one of the side pieces as shown and I hot glued it onto the large piece. I took some of these triangles and glued them on for extra support. And then I repeated that process for the other side. Next, I cut some chicken wire to a bit over the length of my lure. I cut a piece off of it because I decided it would be easier to wrap around the lure in sections. I glued one end of the chicken wire to a part of the lure as shown. I let that dry and wrapped it around and glued it to the next piece of cardboard. This can be a difficult process, so just have some patience. I took some of this thin metal wire that the chicken wire roll actually came wrapped up in. I cut it into small 3 to 4 inch sections. I rolled the rest of the chicken wire around the lure and used these pieces to twist around parts and hold it together. I next had to use some pliers to bend down and form this chicken wire to the right shape, especially around the edges of the section. I next took another section of the chicken wire and pretty much just repeated that whole process from before. Now, because the end of the lure is very slanted, the chicken wire didn't roll over it perfectly, and I started cutting out triangle sections and attaching them back together so it would fit together better. I also repeated the whole process for the front and final section of the lure. I next took some strips of duct tape and wrapped them around the fishing lure just on parts that were popping up too much and just needed to help hold the thing together. Next was paper mache. I used some of this Elmer's paper mache paste. It's a fine powder that you just mix with water and it forms a paste. I used an electric mixer because oftentimes when you use your hands there becomes little clumps of powder that are hard to mix up. Now when you use an electric mixer it puts a lot of bubbles into it and it turns white but that eventually goes away in like 12 hours or so when all the bubbles pop. And you're going to want this to have a consistency of about cake batter. So I next started paper mache. I take a strip of newspaper and I dip it in the paper mache paste. I wipe off the excess and put the newspaper on the lure. I did a layer and let it dry and repeated the whole process for a couple more layers. Just keep adding layers until you feel like it is strong enough. For the final layer too, I used paper just because I wanted it to be a plain white. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I took some of this matte clear enamel to add some extra protection. I'm not sure it was completely necessary though. I then did a layer of just plain gray that would also act as a primer. I then added another clear coat. Now, at some points, a piece of paper would start to come up, so I had to cut it off and do another layer of paint right there. Now at the ends of my lure, there were some chicken wire and cardboard pieces that were sticking out, so I used some wire cutter to cut that off. Next, I took some paper and cut it down to the size of the ends of the lure, and then traced that onto cardboard and cut it out, and then glued those circles onto the front and end. I next took some of this craft wire. This would be to make the metal loops on the lure. I cut some pieces to size, then cut out holes in the ends and bottom. I glued in the wire with hot glue. Then to keep paint from getting on the wire, I taped part of it off. Now to add some color. I started by painting the bottom orange. I had to do a few layers for every color. I let that dry and painted some yellow above it. Then once all of the yellow is dry, I went back with both orange and yellow and blended the colors. Once dry, I added in some green and blended that into the yellow. Of course, after that, I added black on the top and blended it with the green. Once the black was dry, I took a pencil and very lightly sketched where the black stripes would go. I then painted over them. Sometimes I used the bottom of the brush handle to get more accuracy. I next used a compass to draw out the outline of the eye. I just estimated the size. I painted that with white, and then once it was dry, I outlined it in black. I then added a black dot in the very middle. I then of course took off the tape on all the wire. I next took some more of this wire and a seasoning container that had a lid with the approximate size I wanted to make the little loops on the lure. I wrapped the wire around the container and used some pliers to help me bend it in the way I needed. I made two of these because there were two hooks on the lure I was making. Next I needed to make the actual hooks, so I drew out a basic template using a sharpie on paper. I bent the wire to the shape of the drawing. I had to make a double hook as shown. I then used this container of seasoning to help get it geometrically round. I next bent the two hooks as shown because there had to be a third hook added on. I then made that other independent hook that would be attached on later. But first, I filed off the top to be a gradual slope and used hot glue to glue the hook onto the other one. I repeated that whole process for a second hook. I then attached those onto the lure. I decided not to add that clear plastic lip just because I like the way it looks better without it. If you really wanted to make one, you could probably glue together some clear plastic in some way. And there you have it, a finished giant lure.
Okay, everybody, thank you so much for sticking around this long. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like. It means a ton and helps out the algorithm. Now, I usually don't build things like this, so let me know what you think of it down in the comments, and I will see you next time.